The Vikings say defensive end Everson Griffin is getting the care he needs after an incident at his home. Uh, Griffin called 911 this morning and then posted a video on his social media saying people were trying to kill him. He says he fired a shot, but no one was hurt. Minatrista police went to his home, but they say they did not find an intruder. Officers and mental health professionals from the football team then spent more than six hours outside of his home speaking with Griffin. The incident ended peacefully around 1.30 this afternoon, and Griffin was taken by ambulance to get some care. And Mike Max joins us now with what the Vikings are saying today. Yeah, difficult day. Yeah. That cloud just kind of looming over practice and everything else because Everson means a lot to a lot mm -hmm. of these players because he's been with them so long. When the Vikings drafted Everson Griffin, they knew there were issues regarding mental health. He has also been a popular figure inside the locker room with teammates and coaches, a generous and complicated figure at the same time. Three years ago, there was a somewhat similar situation that led to his leave from the team for five weeks. The team has kept him under careful scrutiny and were cautious in re-signing him after a year away this past offseason. For now, it is an issue that will be internal and has little to do with football. Their family is our family. And uh, it's important at this moment that we respect their, the health, the safety, and the well-being of everyone that is involved in this situation. And I know he's receiving the care and the support he needs along with his family. Yeah, I should add, I mean, this is a guy that came here. He, he married a young lady from here. Mm -hmm. He's got children here. I see him in the summertime. He, he's taking his kids to events. He's up north on the jet ski at the, at the cabin by Brainerd. Really a gregarious, generous, nice, fun-loving guy. And this has just plagued him his entire career. And yeah. you hope that he can get some help because there's so much good about him. Yeah, yeah, I think there was a lot of empathy, Mike. I mean, I think people realize that, you know, that he's really struggling with something. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and this is, you know, this is not the first time we've seen it here. So hopefully uh, they can keep him on the right track. But he's got a lot of good people looking out for him right That's now. Good. Yeah, he's fortunate in that. Yes, he is. All right. Thank you, Maxie.